A publishing firm aims to help develop the literacy of young readers by releasing the first locally produced decodable textbooks. To tell us more about it, we have live in the studio Alyssa May Santos, the brand manager of Lampara Publishing House. Hello, Ali. Hello. Good morning Hi. and Hi. welcome to the show. You know what? I'm curious. Decodable books. Yes. So what is this all about? And ano yung uh, age na tina-target mm -hmm. nitong mga decodable books na ito? So basically po yung decodable text, uh, meron siyang sinusunod na phonic codes mm -hmm. and sequence po siya. For example, dun sa magbasa tayo, we have two series kasi under this um, okay. launch po. Uh, yung magbasa tayo, we have Marungko Approach and let's read, we have Systematic Phonics. So itong mga Marungko po ito, yung sis meron siyang six sequence of letters mm -hmm. na sinusunod. Okay. So, um, tinuturo siya systematically para sa beginning readers po siya. Ah, so mga kids. Yes, well, for okay. it's uh, initially it's for K to 3, meaning sa kinder to grade 3. Okay. Pero it really depends po sa reading capacity and capability ng children mm. kung ano yung level nila. Oh, mm -hmm. kasi iba advanced, right? Yes, po. Yeah, and okay. some naman po ay medyo delay. You know, we were talking a while ago kung bakit, bakit kailangan ng decodable mm -hmm. books. Kasi sa Pilipinas, mataas yung literacy rate natin. In mm -hmm. other words, people can read. Mm -hmm. Pero you were talking about something else mm -hmm. about the level of reading dito yes, sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. um, based dun sa data na nakuha natin from PISA or yung Program for International Student Assessment, mm -hmm. um, mababa yung creative or imaginative thinking skills ng Philippines. Which okay. is saan ba natin nakukuha sa pagbabasa? Right, right. Diba? So yun po yung parang yung nakita natin mm -hmm. sa datos. And ito yung naging action natin. Ay yung tugo natin dun sa problem is which is yung leveled reading. Kaya siya tinawag na leveled reading books po. Um, it's uh, separated into level A to E. So, mm -hmm. from level A, paano pahirap yung difficulty niya tumataas, habang okay. tumataas yung level po niya. Okay. You know what we were talking earlier uh, about how some letters of the alphabet, yun yung yes, unang nag-grasp ng yes, mga kids. I yeah. didn't know about that. <laughs> Akala ko, like, all the letters of the alphabet, you teach them to your yes, kid, ba? And then they learn it. Yun pala, there are particular yes, letters. Uh, for example, dun sa Marungko approach, which is yung mag magbasa tayo, uh, may sinusunod na sequence of letter na, uh, for example, mm -hmm. M-S-A-I-O-B. So, ito po, uh, dinevelop siya sa Marungko na ganito kasi ito yung mas frequent na letter mm -hmm. sa Filipino language. So, it's from mm -hmm. frequent to least. So, kung okay, mapapansin okay. nyo dun sa last um, part na sequence of letter, yung mga uh, consonants na, na V, X, mm -hmm. V na yung mga nakikita doon. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, doon naman sa systematic phonics, mm -hmm. uh, for example, sa level A, ini-introduce pa lang yung letters. Mm -hmm. Then from the next level, which is level B, meron tayong tinatawag na CVC words. Ito yung mga three-letter words, for example, uh, consonant, vowel, consonants. Or pat, cat. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. ganun na po yun. Hanggang sa dulo, meron na tayong consonant blends. Pahirap na ng pahirap. Yeah. Yeah. Yung mga yeah. B, L, B, R, C, L. Tapos may diphthongs na rin sa dulo. So, depende talaga siya sa ano. Well, nakita natin, well, at least, basta sa material na, na pinapakita natin ngayon, na hindi lang Filipino. Yes. English din. English yes. reading. Mm -hmm. Kaya importante yun na medyo bilingual yung approach mm -hmm. right. natin sa pagbabasa. Ay, uh, based din dun sa mga nabanggit and yun, ng author natin na si Sir Victor at si Ma'am Daisy, mm -hmm. magkaiba din kasi si Victor po, uh, Villanueva siya po yung sa Filipino mm -hmm. and si Ma'am Daisy Calado po sa English. Uh, either dito, kahit alin dun yung masimula nila, kumari masimula nilang mabasa yung Filipino muna, yung marungko, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or kahit masimula nila yung systematic phonics, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kasi, Either way, matututunan nila yung um, beginning reading. So, pag right, nabasa right. na nila yung level A, kaya na nilang basa yung level A ng marungko. Ah. So, um, ano naman siya, interchangeable. So, it's really just the same approach, different language lang Different siya. language, different yeah. stories po. So, the target talaga, which is to develop the reading skill yes, of the po. kid, yes, yun ang finofocus na itong yes, mga po. decodable yes, books. Po. And then, you mentioned also a while ago how interactive these books yes, are. Po. Kasi the visuals are in black and white. Tapos, mm -hmm. pwede nilang kulayan. Yes, po. Right? Yes, yeah. po. So, uh, yun din yung isa sa mga benefits mo kung nila. Um, for ex kung makakapagbasa sila, syempre kailangan din nila ng other activities na magagawa doon. Right. So, hindi lang nahasa yung reading and comprehension nila, pati yung creative and imaginative imagination. Imagination. Yes po. Yeah, so, yeah. kaya um, yung illustrator, parang pinag-usapan nila doon sa company namin mm -hmm. na parang imimik yung doodles ng mga bata. Mm -hmm. So, that mas familiar yung bata kapag binabasa nila yon mm -hmm. Hindi parang um, 
hindi familiar sila doon. So, ito yung palagi nilang nakikita. So, ito yung sample doon. You mentioned the illustrations sa uh, parang mga doodles na nakikita oh, mga bata. Yeah. And I I love the color. I love uh, the process that goes through. Kapag binibili ito, uh, is it, does it come in sets? Does it come yes, uh, in po. individual mm. books? Yes, uh, how do people go about ah. purchasing yung uh, sets na to? For the whole package po, both English and Filipino, we have 300 books. For okay. magbasa tayo or marungko, which is in Filipino, we have 150 books um, separated siya. So for each level, meron tayong 30. Mm -hmm. So 150. Doon naman din sa English, ganun din po. So pag binila na yun, uh, 150 books per uh, language. Mm -hmm. So ganun po, 30 books per box. Then we have five sets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... It comes in levels. Uh, yes, ano yung well, clientele mo? Does, is it normally school? Is, mm, is it concerned parents? Yes, uh, well, who normally purchases uh, yung mga sets ninyo? Yeah. Usually, kasi since kakalunch lang din namin nung September 11 mm -hmm. sa MIBF, mm -hmm. Marina International Book Fair, um, haros lahat talaga. Lahat talaga. Initially, ang mga, syempre, yung mga reading advocates, mm -hmm. um, yung mga sa reading association, libraries, mm -hmm. schools, yun yung mga usually. Pero may kita mo, pati parents, super interested sila. Right, Kasi yeah. Kasi uh, ngayon po, marami din tayong mga homeschools na. Yes, so, yun yes, na rin true. yung isa sa mga materials na ginagamit nila for reading. Kasi um, even though for teaching din tong books, pwede din siyang pang reading independently, kung kaya na nila magbasa yeah, magsa reading. Yes, yes. So, hindi naman din mahaba yung text kahit dun sa English at Filipino. So, mm -hmm. kaya ang kaya nilang basahin. Yun. And this is the very first of its kind yes, in, na well. ma-launch sa country, no? Yes, the decodable well. yes, textbooks. Well. And it's a big help, no? Not just for teachers, but also for parents na gustong matuto agad magbasa yung mga Tama. bata, di ba? So, there's a level yes, talaga well. that uh, they need to go through. And it's a big help also that the graphics that you use, you parang ano talaga drawing the kids no so, yeah it's very oh, oh. relatable mm -hmm. can you tell us a yeah. bit more about yung stable nyo na mga authors na nagko contribute na mga stories uh, how do you find them how do they mm -hmm. come in and make sure na tama yung approach nila mm -hmm. yes po so kung mare po um, nasa mga yung manuscripts from uh -huh. the writers meron kami yung pool of illustrators Meron mga veteran na sa dati na namin nakatrabaho. Mm -hmm. And meron din kami yung pool na list ng illustrators na mga bago na nahanap namin. So, lagi kami nagpupunta sa mga events. For yeah, example, yeah. pick-off, comiket. So, doon kami naghahanap ng mga illustrators. Mm -hmm. From there, tinitingnan namin yung mga styles nila. Then, pinapasubok namin sila ng character studies. And tinitingnan namin kung ano yung mag-fit sa story. Siyempre, with the approval din po ng author po yun. So, once na okay na yun... Um, magpo-proceed na kami dun sa uh, instructions ng mm -hmm. authors. Usually, may instructions yung author kung paano nila gustong i-interpret yung mga kwento. Grabe, I love the art style. Yeah. I love... Then, if you go through all the books, iba rin yung writing style din yes, nila. Eh. Yung yes, iba, yes. May, may parime, yung iba mm. mas makwento. Uh -huh. You take a look at the impact that you've had so far. Alam ko, medyo bago lang kayo. Pero have you already seen the impact of siguro the younger readers mm -hmm. in terms of yung interest nila mm -hmm. sa mga libro? Uh, may, bigyan ko na halimbawa nung sa MIBF, mm -hmm. no? Um, makikita mo talaga na sila mismo yung kumukuha ng books na gusto nila. Mm, sure, the kids? Yes, po. Oh, okay, sila yung so nagbabrowse nice. yeah, talaga. Yeah. So, malaking factor talaga na very appealing sa mata ng bata yung illustrations. And from there, sila na yung bahalang mag-turn ng page oh, sa kanila oh. kung ano yung gusto nilang basahin. So, I think, mahalaga din na very interactive din yung itsura ng book. Very appealing. Pati rin yung text mismo. Oh, oh. Madaling basahin. At may ka kayang i-develop yung creative mind ng bata. Gusto ko very modern din. May duck din dito. <laughs> uh, it, it, it really fits the kids these days. But it's not just the big books. Ah. May mga maliliit yes. rin uh, for different, uh, different readers saka, for sure. You know what I like about this? Kasi growing up, tayo no, Pau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tayo. Growing up tayo, di ba, Pau? Uh -oh. Parang we were exposed to mga princess princess, yes, the no, stories, no. right? The fairy tales. Absolutely. And sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Pero uh -oh. just to show everyone, kanina pinakita natin yung mas malaking books, of course, uh, for the 
um, less developed readers, mga bago ah, pala. Ito, ibang level ito, na. Ito, mo to. Smaller I mean, font na rin siya. A lot smaller, yes. mas narrative-based. Yes, and yes, of course, yes. the, the, art, the artistic flair nandito pa rin. Yes, po. Ibang klase. I, I really enjoy that. Gaano ko importante yung uh, project na to for you in terms of uh, the support that you're getting? Mm -hmm. Kasi, syempre, this is still relatively mm -hmm. new. I remember growing up, uh, back when I was going to school, dati may mga... Uh, Lord, mga, those those big cards mm. sa mga maraming source. I forgot what they called them. Mm. But then, how important is it na may parang Pinoy version tayo mm -hmm. nito? Uh, mahalaga po na nakikita ng kids yung sarili nila sa mga binabasa oh, nila. Oh, yeah. yes. 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 Di ba nga, the stories kasi are so relatable. Yes, Their po. emotions, di ba? Yes, the experiences po. that these kids actually mm -hmm. have, di ba? Tsaka curated din sila dun sa experiences nila dito sa Philippines. Oh, oh. Kasi usually oh, oh. daw, uh, as per dun sa mga authors, um, foreign materials yung kinagamit nila. So, mm. hindi nila nakikita yung sarili nila. Halimbawa, dun sa bang kwento, may kwento sa Santol, mm -mm. Oh, oh. merong kwento sa Makahiya. So, mas locally um, approach yung mas naiintindihan niya sa lahat talaga. Oh, okay, yeah, di ba? Thank you so much, <laughs> Ali, for joining us today. Dami namin natutunan, no? And uh, our viewers will definitely want to order these online, yeah, how, right? How can they do it? How can mm. they support you and follow uh, Lampara Books? Uh, you can follow Lampara Books on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. And you can order our lo uh, Magbasa Tayo and Let's Read series on our post soon. So you can pre-order all the sets po. Okay, good. Right. I just want soon because I don't have a date. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ali.